Hello friends and welcome back to another huge, massive, ginormous grocery haul. So um, it is our once a month haul for the month of October. Um, I am doing some different things this month. So I found out that here in Tennessee where we live, they actually are in the middle of tax free like a tax-free period. So um, I did not know this, but it goes through August 1st through October 31st, and all grocery items, food items that you buy are tax-free, which is a big deal because that adds up. I think it's like a 9% tax here. I could be wrong on that, but it's a big difference. Sorry, my lighting got a little wonky. Um, so yeah, we're used to paying a pretty hefty tax on food, um, especially when you're not used to that. We did not have a food tax in Michigan unless it was on like prepared foods. Um, and so we decided to switch things up this month. We're gonna approach it a little bit differently. Um, they, we found a lot of deals. I was kind of hunting the deals. Kroger had a lot of really great deals. Um, there's also a place in my area here called United Grocery Outlet, which is, um, it, they have really, really awesome deals. So it's hit or miss, not everything there is a great deal, but they do have really great deals there. Um, and so I stopped there. And so the approach I kind of took for this month was that I wanted to buy um, the things that we needed, but we did a pretty large stock up on all of the other items that were on sale, taking advantage of the fact that for the rest of this month, Month, we will not have um, sales tax. So I'm going to show you guys what we did. I will tell you this, this haul happened over the course of about two or three days because I was hitting different stores, um, waiting for some sales to start um, and that kind of thing in order to really take advantage of all of what I was wanting to get. Um, and because of that, um, I, obviously I can't leave the food out for days. So I, a lot of the things was put in the freezer. So if you see some things and they're frozen, that's why I went ahead and just threw them in the freezer until I could pull them all back out, film this haul, um, and then show you. Some of the things I did go ahead and take out of the package and package up, not thinking just because it's habit. Um, so when I'm done showing you everything that's out here, I will take you guys out to our um, big deep freezer, which I'm so thankful for. That is a major reason why I'm able to do this now um, when I wasn't before is because I do have the shelves that we got from storage and I have our deep freezer that we got from storage. So before I did not have the room to do this. So I feel like it's just a blessing now that I have these shelves, I have this deep freezer, and this period of tax-free for the rest of this month. I really wanted to um, take advantage of that and get as much as I could. When we lived in Michigan, we did keep a year supply um, uh, like stockpile for our family that we were constantly rotating through. So we were basically only shopping the sales and coupons and we were always replenishing that stuff. But like, um, for instance, canned items, I was only buying once a year because when it went on sale, I would buy so many of them that I would not need them again for another year until they went on sale. And that is kind of how we um, ran things in Michigan and we were able to save a ton of money there. Um, at the time, we were a family of nine. Um, I will say that was two years ago. So some of our children were a lot younger and did eat less but in, and the economy with inflation obviously things have changed but um, at that point two years ago with that huge stockpile that we had and we also had four fridges and freezers um, we were only spending $800 a month to feed our family of 11. Things have changed that are beyond our control but some of the things that have been causing us to spend more money is that we just didn't have the ability to have that stockpile anymore to um, hit those sales because we didn't have a place for them. For a year, we were living in a camper, um, as you guys know, and we didn't have anywhere to put anything. We could barely get enough food in there for a week or two. Um, so now that we're in um, the new house with all of these things, I, I feel like it is time to kind of get back to my roots, to what um, I used to be really, really good at, which was seeking deals, um, hunting down these things, and stockpiling this food and saving our family a ton of money. So. That's what I'm gonna show you here today and then I will give you guys the total at the end. Looks like I'll give you kind of a brief overview here. This is just the stuff that is out. Um, I did hit up Kroger. I hit up um, the United Grocery Outlet that we have here as well as Sam's and Walmart. So this is what we're looking at. And then like I said, I have a freezer out there that has a lot of stuff in it and then as well as the items over here on the counter. So I will tell you that Kroger, um, I would never use Kroger to do all of my grocery shopping. However, if you watch their ads and their deals, you can really, really save a lot of money at Kroger. 
Um, so I'm going to kind of show you guys that. We'll start down here. So we're going to start with the cheese. It was a dollar. Um, I want to say it was a dollar thirty-nine for eight ounces. So when I do this, I don't just assume that it's a good deal. What I do is I go on and I figure out what would you know dollar thirty-nine for eight ounces. So I would need two of those to make a pound, and then I go and I hunt the other stores like Walmart, Sam's, um, all the places, Costco, and see what what is a pound of cheese cost there. Um, and then if it's, you know, in bulk, I just figured up what is it price per pound? Because I don't care if it comes in eight ounces or it comes in a five pound block. I just want the best deal. So that is how I go about saving money. So don't assume that just because something's in an ad, it's a great deal because it might not be. Um, this, however, was a great deal. It was by far the cheapest I could get cheese. So I bought, I believe, a 20 of these. So the equivalent of 10 pounds of cheese, which will get us through a month. So I know this looks like a lot of stuff, but again, guys, we're a large family. Um, and 10 pounds of cheese for us is not, you know, this is not a year's worth of cheese by any means. This is probably barely a month um, worth of cheese and probably only a month because I still have some left over. Um, these anytizers, we actually did have five bags of these. One of them's been used. These popcorn chicken, they are, I believe, uh, yeah, one and a half pounds. And these were on sale for $4.97. Um, we like to do this about once a week um, for our kids with, for, as a lunch. And it's just a little treat and these bags are normally ten dollars so to show you like you know you can really save money um also the peanut butter back here this was an amazing deal these were 99 cents i have not seen 99 cent peanut butter in years um this is let's see yep one pound of peanut butter so i got 36 of these 99 cents a piece you didn't need a card or anything for them amazing deal this will last our family probably the entire year um, for peanut butter so that is awesome same thing with the cream cheese just the Kroger brand cream cream cheese eight ounce uh, blocks these were this says two pack they weren't sold in a two pack but when they ran out um, the lady gave us the two packs um, in place so we got uh, I believe it was 10 days 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 yep 10 cream cheeses so I figured with the holidays coming up my my girlfriend actually reminded me oh with the holidays coming up you'll use a lot more of this so I went back and got some more so 10 cream cheeses were also 99 cents and then the eggs what a deal on the eggs you guys know last week I was so excited about eggs or last month I should say because they had last month I bought five dozen eggs for five dollars so a dollar a dozen that was a great deal by far the best deal we've seen in a very very long time this week or this month was even better the sale that Kroger was having on eggs was an 18 count for 99 cents so I bought 10 18 counts here so 15 dozen eggs um, cost me ten dollars and that is awesome that is a month supply for our family for eggs super super excited about that um, the Oscar Mayer hot dogs, these were in the freezer, um, and I just freeze them just like that. These were on sale for $1.99. Um, again, it was the best deal um, for hot dogs, like when I did my price comparison. So yes, you can probably buy cheaper hot dogs, but that's one thing I'm kind of picky about. Um, the sliced pepper jack cheese, it was not on sale, but I bought three 24 packs just because we use it a lot with um, hamburgers and different sandwiches that we make around here. And then, um, let's see, was that it for, oh no, this, this meat from Kroger too, it's all frosted up now, but this is um, pork shoulder or pork butt. And these went on sale for, I believe, okay, so they were buy one, get one free. That's what it was. It says right here, buy one, get one free. Um, and then w when you did that deal, it wound up being $1.35 a pound. And this is what my husband smokes and makes um, pulled pork with. And so we actually bought eight of these and they are just about 10 pounds each I think so let's see yep about nine and a half ten pounds each so we bought eight of those so around I would say 75 to 80 pounds of the pork butt that's a great deal we used to buy this a um, couple years ago for 99 cents a pound very 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 rarely do you ever see that but a dollar 39 is great and by far probably the cheapest way we can feed um, our family meat. So super happy to have that. So again, we bought eight of these. Those are out in the freezer. Um, I believe that is it here from Kroger. So this is it from Kroger. And then we're moving into Walmart. I'll show you down here real quick. We got one of the big boxes, the 1200 um, count of the baby wipes here. And then, uh, oh, this is the baby wipes. That's why I wasn't showing you. And then a large pack of the size four diapers. We still have one baby in diapers. 
We got two bags of potato chips and two bags of the cantina tortilla chips. I still have the big box of tortilla chips from Sam's and I'm going to try to pull away from the chips a little bit more and just try to switch up sides. I really want to switch out of um, most all prepackaged foods that I can um, and do as much of that homemade. I, I won't be making homemade chips, but I will give them other options. So um, we got a couple bunches of bananas here. There was, I believe, five, but the kids have gotten into those. Two of the hair creams that my husband and my son uses. A three pack of the gum. Um, we just were needing that. And then this is a treat for my kids. A big, big bag of the, um, what is it, three pounds here of the Starburst. This is just to hand out one every now and then when they've done well in school. Or maybe we'll have a couple um, while we're having movie night, something fun like that. Two bags of the mini semi sweet chocolate chips. I use these for our homemade granola bars. Two things of the orange juice. I had bought some at Sam's, as you'll see, but then I saw this was a good deal, so I picked up two more. We still have some from last month. I don't know how. That's usually the first thing gone, but we do. And then an eight pack of the Dove Sensitive Skin Soap. Two packs of the bagels. I still um, really am hoping in the next week that I'm going to get bagels made. We have had a lot of things going on here and I'll explain that in another video, but um, because of that, things have just been different for us and we have not, I have not been on my routine as much as I normally am. Uh, think of melatonin gummies, the Creole seasoning. My husband puts this in his spice rub for our pulled pork and different things. Um, minced garlic. I also want to start getting my own whole garlic cloves from Azure and um, chopping them up and freezing them, but I need to have something for right now. So I grabbed that one thing of Thousand Island. I dip my pizza crust in this. I don't know if anybody else does that or not. I've done that since I was a kid. Um, I just love it. And then one container of the heavy cream here. We got two of the Walmart large containers. I don't know if you can see how big those are of the um, Nutella, like the Walmart version of Nutella. And then four of the big jars of applesauce. And then if I can reach back here, one bag of the um, chocolate animal crackers. We just like put those in our cookie jar. Six big cans of the um, sliced peaches. I just could put these in little bowls for my kiddos. I don't know why my camera is having a hard time focusing lately. And then two boxes of the butter crackers that we use for our um, Lunchables, like homemade Lunchables. And oh, and then the other thing I got from Walmart is the seven gallons of milk. So this is not a month's worth of milk for us, but I don't have room to store it. And I don't like freezing milk because my kids don't like the consistency of it. It's not a big deal, but they just don't like it. And I, because I don't have that much room anyway, I just buy the seven gallons that'll fit in my extra fridge in the garage. And um, then I will go back in two weeks for um, extra produce and more milk. I probably will not eat, need eggs now at the two week mark since I got that. And then moving on to Sam's, I have a lot of stuff from Sam's. I also have more stuff in the freezer from Sam's. So I'll take you guys out and show you. Um, we got a big bag of the broccoli. I still have a little bit from my, um, I think it was my mid-month haul. And then my husband bought a huge brisket here. So he will also smoke this up. And then just like we do with the pulled pork, we will smoke the whole thing. We will bag it up into smaller portions and then we will freeze it like that. And it makes super easy. I like to call them our like homemade fast food meals because we can easily pull one out, throw it in a crock pot, throw it in the oven, even the microwave and have a nice meal. Um, and then a two pack of the Hershey syrup. My teens have been like really into doing chocolate milk lately. So that's what that's for. A big pack of the, we actually had two of these as well. The grass fed and finished beef patties. Um, we just had one last night for dinner. So that's where the second pack went. Two, two packs of the um, olive oil spray for baking. Three of the Unreal Coconut Bars. These are delicious. We haven't had these in a while and they were on sale. I think $6 and then only 10. So I grabbed four of them. There's only three out here. One of them we opened up and put in a container in the fridge um, for the everyone. Everyone can just grab one. Um, the home style meatballs. This is a five pound bag. We had two of those. We cooked up one this morning in the crock pot before we left for church. And that's what we ate when we got home from church. So there was two of those. Two of the five pound bags of mozzarella cheese that we use for my husband's homemade pizzas. And then a big container of our pancake syrup. We still haven't switched to the real maple syrup yet. Um, a big two pack of the paste pecani sauce in mild. It's the salsa that we use. A two pack of the Welch's jelly. 
a big container of ground cinnamon because we are just about out of that. We've been making a lot of homemade stuff, which I promise those videos are coming, guys. There has just been a lot going on here. And then I believe this was an eight pack of Spam. I know some people will think that's disgusting. I grew up on Spam. Um, I introduced it to my husband. He actually likes it now, and so do my kids. We just slice it up, and then we fry it, and we mostly serve it, like, at, well, we only serve it, actually, um, when we make, like, a big breakfast. Sometimes we'll do Spam um, as our meat, and then eggs and biscuits and whatever else. And then um, I had originally bought this deal, the 24 count of the ballpark um, hot dogs at Sam's before I found those and I thought you know what I like to have this stuff it's an easy lunch for the kids or if we're doing something a meal that maybe some of our little kids don't like we will just grill up some hot dogs for them these I had already put in freezer bags and put in the freezer but these were um, on sale not majorly but I just another thing I wanted I want to be stocked up while I can take advantage of this uh, no tax so we got two big packs of the honey ham and I believe these are a pound and a half each yes they are a pound and a half each so three pounds of ham, three pounds of the oven roasted turkey, a pound and a half of the hard salami, and a pound and a half of the sliced pepperoni. This is our favorite orange chicken, as you guys know. So we bought four boxes of this. Is this only three boxes out? We must have left one out there. These are three pounds of the orange chicken, and then we just make our own homemade fried rice to go with it. So we bought, I know there's only three here, but we did buy four of those. And then the ground beef as well, we bought two of the three packs here of the 93% um, lean all natural ground beef so two three packs of that and then we got the seven pound bag of powdered sugar so i've been making homemade cinnamon rolls which that video is coming out um and i needed powdered sugar for that we used to have all of this in like big five gallon buckets i just don't have all of that stuff anymore so we're working on getting back there and we will it'll just take time and that's okay and then i believe this is what another seven pounds of the light brown sugar um our son lincoln does a lot of baking so we go we've been going through that stuff quicker 25 pounds of the long and white rice and then before i get back there i'll show you uh the 15 count of paper towels i felt like we were still okay on toilet paper so I did not grab any, um, but I will probably get some before the month is over. 25 pounds of the baking flour and 25 pounds of the all-purpose flour. And then we got 30 pounds of the granulated sugar. We do still want to order from Azure, but I am taking advantage, like I said, of this tax deal. So I wanted to get stocked up. This will be enough to fill up the five-gallon um, bucket that I do have. Um, and then another big 10 pound bag of the pancake mix. This is mostly just a convenience thing for me. Um, and I've been making a bunch of pancakes and freezing them. And then a two pack of orange juice that I had already purchased at Sam's before I saw that orange juice. And then two big boxes of the Go-Gurts that you guys know my kids love. Um, and then last over here, we have the two 24 counts of the brioche slider buns. I'll show you out there in the freezer, but you probably won't be able to see them since they're frozen. We did buy um, the sirloin sliders um, that come like raw at the uh, deli or no, what is it? The meat area in Sam's. I don't know. I can't think, guys. Words are hard today. Um, so we, I just put these in the freezer. We'll pull them out when we need them. We'll cook up some of the sliders and then have these. And it's delicious. And the kiddos love it <clears throat> and think it's fun because it is a smaller portion. So that is what we got from sam's that is out here and then i'm going to take you guys over here to the united grocery outlet which we have here in the knoxville area there are several of them they might be other places i'm not sure i did not know about them until we moved to this area but you can just find as you see it's not that i bought a ton of items but the items that i got are really great deals so these are um theater rounds um, tater tots, frozen potatoes have been through the roof. At 10 pounds of potatoes here is insanely expensive compared to what it used to be. Um, but a two pound bag of tater tots has been around four or five dollars. This is five pounds of these little tater rounds and I got them for $4.97. So I bought 10 pounds of those. We use these on some casseroles and um, we also will cook them up like with the popcorn chicken or something for a kiddo's lunch. These three pounds of sausage tubes were $3.97, so I got two of those, six pounds. I will use these for breakfast burritos, um, just anything for breakfast, and also for our um, sausage balls. And then this was another great deal. These are the berries, and they're organic. 
Um, we got the blueberries, and then I believe the rest of them are berry medleys. I bought 12 packs of them. Um, they're 10 ounces, but again, when I price checked it to everything else, it was actually half the price of the berries that I buy from Sam's, and those berries are not organic. So I thought that was a great deal, and these were a dollar a bag, if I didn't say that. So $12 in berries. And then over here, this is um, sliced um, slap bacon. So it's just basically bacon, sliced bacon, and it is 10 pounds of it. So this entire box is sliced bacon. I bought two of them because they were $29.99. So $3 a pound for bacon. Even the sales here right now, the minimum I can find is $4 a pound, but on average, it's about six, $7 a pound for bacon. So $3, it's a good deal. 20 pounds of bacon. It won't last forever in this house. We are bacon lovers. But we are very happy to have this and we haven't had this deal from them in a long time i actually haven't been to this store in a long time after traveling and coming back i forgot about it they sent me an email i stopped in and i'm glad i did they had these big containers of the cocktail peanuts they're two pounds three ounces each and these were 2.99 so great deal all of us love peanuts um i bought this little cinnamon here for a dollar before i found the big container from sam's i don't know why i cannot focus Anyway, that is cinnamon. <laughs> and then another great deal, the last time I got socked up on um, a big thing of tortillas was also at the same store. They had these, however, these are the big ones, the burrito style. There are eight counts of these and they were two for a dollar. So what a deal, great deal. I bought a whole case of them, which I believe is either 12 or 15 packs of those. Because if you didn't know, tortillas last forever. You don't even have to put them in the freezer. Um, you can, and they will freeze just fine too, but you can just leave them at room temp, throw them in your pantry, basement area, wherever you can, and they will last for many, many months. And then down here, um, this is chicken leg quarters. This is also from this United Grocery Outlet. These are 10 pound bags of chicken leg quarters and they were 59 cents a pound. So I got 40 pounds of those and I believe the total on that wound up being like $23 and some change for 40 pounds of chicken leg quarters. It's an amazing deal. My husband will smoke all of that up and um, we'll use some of it in like an Instapot, turn it into a bunch of different meals. So just some really, really great deals. And then I will take you guys out to the freezers and show you what we have out there. Okay, um, two of the other deals that we got at Kroger, I had already packaged these, portioned these up. This is just boneless, skinless chicken breast. Um, it was on sale for $1.79 a pound. I bought five large packages of it and went ahead and cleaned them, sliced them, and then bagged them up so they are ready to go for a meal. I'll just pull one of these out when we need a meal. Great deal there. I wish I could have gotten more, but when I went back, um, the deal was over. And then these are chicken thighs, bone-in chicken thighs, and um, these were on sale for $0.99 cents a pound. So I bought two of the large family packs. These are gallon-sized bags, if you guys can't tell. And you probably can't. Um, so I bought two of the family packs of the chicken thighs as well, which I like to use chicken thighs in my Instant Pot um, and then shred that meat and use it for like chicken pot pies and all sorts of other things. Um, and then down here is was a very large pack of stew beef, um, four pounds of it. Actually, I wrote it on there from Sam's. And that is just for um, different dishes, but beef stew being one of them with that season coming up. And then these are those little sirloin sliders that I was telling you guys about. Um, I think they come, let's see, is that how they, maybe that is how they come. So what is it? Uh, six, twelve, and they're 18 packs. So these are stacked too high. This is not yet 18. And we bought three of these 18 packs um, and they are just delicious. They're really good quality meat. Um, and that's what we put with those little brioche slider buns. And then you guys can see down here, these are the rest of the pork butts that we got um, when those, those were on for such a great deal. So yeah, lots of meat. This is how we package our pulled pork. If you haven't seen that on one of the videos, my husband cooks it and we just package it up in these smaller quart size bags. And um, yeah, but so we're getting there. We are getting back to the point where we have stuff in the freezer and it's not such a big deal. I don't have to buy things every month if they're not on sale because I can live off our sales for a while until it goes on sale again. Okay, so I just added up our totals for all of this and our total was about $1,900, um, but I feel like we got a ton of stuff when you think about how much meat we got. We have so much meat, probably well over 100 pounds, definitely over 100 pounds actually now that I'm looking at it. 
of meat, probably even 200 pounds of meat and just tons of stuff. So the way I did this is I took like um, part of our savings and I did a lot of the bulk shopping. And then when the month switched over, the things that we just needed like um, for like our normal grocery shopping, shopping stuff, I took that out of my normal grocery budget. So I have $750 left in my normal grocery budget. And what I plan to do with that for the rest of the month of October is just hunt the deals. So like Kroger, they get a new ad every Wednesday. Um, I will go through that and see if there's anything worth stocking up on. If there is, I will go and I will stock up on that and that will come out of that $750 that I have left. So yes, this is definitely, um, you could think of it as blowing the budget. I don't, however, because I know that this is going to save us so much money over the next year, so much money. Not that this stuff will last a year, but the process of building up a stockpile, it takes time. Um, and from here on out, what I will do is just continue to shop deals. So my grocery hauls will probably look a little bit different. You'll probably see lots of items of fewer things. Um, but you will. I will also start to show you guys how I'm building that stockpile, what that looks like, how we use it. Um, and we have a lot of experience with this. We've been doing this for a very long time. Probably, um, honestly, let's see, yeah, probably about 12 years ago, we started building up a stockpile when to us, things in the world started to look sketchy um, and we started to do things differently back then it was with coupons because I was a big couponer when you used to could do that really well and easily now that is a lot more difficult and I just don't have that kind of time on my hands but I can certainly look at a sales ad and I can find out what's the best deal and I can hit up a few stores I don't mind doing that where we live now things are pretty close to us so Overall, I'm super excited about this. I'm excited to show you guys how we're gonna use all of this food, what we're gonna do with it. You'll have to stay tuned on my channel for those videos coming up. If you're not already, please subscribe so that you will get notified and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you do get notified every time I make a brand new video and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.